We're asking each other questions. About long distance. You got it. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a big one for me. What's the number one response you get when you tell people that you're doing long distance? Oh, wow. <laughs> you're sure you guys want to do that? That's really cool. Yeah, usually mine is, you're doing long distance? I'm like, yeah, that's what I just said. They're like, oh, how's that going to be? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> we're, that's why we're trying it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's usually like a really like shocked and weird look. Yeah, true. Um, why do people do that? Like, would you be less surprised if we just broke up just because we're moving <laughs> away from each other? I'm moving. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> so stupid. We're not gonna even try. Yeah, like I don't understand. Like, if something was worth it to try, like why wouldn't you just at least try it? Like, what's gonna hurt you? Maybe a lot of people just feel like it, it isn't worth it. Yeah, but what are you what are you losing if you try it? You know, like I could just break up with you and just be like, like, oh, and then like and then I would be worrying about like the what ifs, like what if it did work out or, like that's kind of dumb to me. Like I'd rather just try it and if it doesn't work, then with people that it doesn't work. But like, like what's the point in not trying? Mm -hmm. Um, biggest fear going into it. That I'm just gonna be sad all the time, every day. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about you like cheating or about something bad happening. I'm just worried about being sad. Yeah. Or about you being sad. That's true. I think my biggest fear is like getting too busy for like the little things. Just yeah. Like, just like making sure you're okay or like taking the time out to like, you know, like really ask you how you are and like what you're doing and. Getting, and like just not knowing every detail of your day mm -hmm. like because I like I like knowing like the little things like yeah. I ate breakfast I had waffles like oh like I like knowing that stuff because it like makes me like imagine that, like you know like how you are like if you were with me yeah like I'm worried about like not having enough time to even like stop and ask you that or like mm -hmm. or like I mean, like, I think I'll have enough time, because it's not like anything's really changing, it's just the distance, but, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what your schedule is going to look like, and, like, what if you can't answer, or, like, you know, right away, or, not that, not that you need to answer, like, super, like, quickly, it's just, like, I, I, I'd rather be talking more constant, not, like, broken up throughout our day, and just, like, reply, like, an hour later like yeah. I don't know it just seems weird because it's not like us yeah I, I'm also a little bit worried about how like our communication dynamic is gonna change you know yeah like how our conversations are just gonna like they're just gonna end up being different yeah it's scary to think about um what are you most excited for mm. I'm most excited I'm excited for college and I'm excited to come see you a lot. I mean, like, obviously. Why are you most excited? For, like, why are you excited for college? Um, I'm excited for the independence. I'm excited to be in a new place and kind of get to do my own thing, you know? Um, I think from here on out, the way we, like, get together is going to be different because it's not going to be like we live next to each other anymore. So yeah. I think when we do get together it's gonna be different but like there's also gonna be good things about it you know i think it'll make it more special yeah like every time we get together it's gonna be like an event it's not gonna be like a everyday thing it'll be like yeah it'll be like a bigger occasion and like mm -hmm. i don't know i kind of like that it'll make it more special and it'll really like make us appreciate it mm -hmm. um i'm most excited for I'm most excited that, like, I'm doing something for myself. Because, like, either way, whether I move to Utah or not, we are going to be doing long distance because you're going to college. So, like, whether I stay here and you were in Santa Barbara, like, 
that would still be long distance because I wouldn't be able to see you all the time. Like, that's still a while, like, trip. Not as big of a trip, but, like, you know, I wouldn't be able to see you all the time. So it would be the same thing. So, like, I'm glad that I'm doing it. Like, I'm glad that I'm, like, putting myself out there and, like, doing this for myself and going to live in Utah so that, you know, I'm happier during this time. And, like, even though it's going to be, like, hard, I think. I think it's, like, I'm, I'm most excited for it to, like, like really find myself and to go to a new school because I've never been to a new school before. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's meet and meet new friends. I'm proud of you for doing this for yourself and moving. I think it, in some ways, would have been a lot easier for you to just stay here. Yeah. Because, like, I wanted to make everybody happy. But, like, in this case, I couldn't make everybody happy. There was no, like, winning. But you did what was right for you. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Uh. Oh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident do you feel about us going in? Like, have we prepared enough? Have we you know, talked about things enough? Have we had those hard conversations? And, like, are you... How confident are you, like, in us about mm-hmm. going into this? Uh, scale of 1 to 10. Probably, like, a 7. Because most of me says, like, we're so ready. Because, like, as a couple right now, we feel, like, so rock solid. And, like, we're mature and, like, ready for this. But... On the other hand, I know that there's, like, things that we're going to experience in long distance that we haven't experienced before right here, like, if we have our first fight in long distance or whatever. And I also know that we're probably super naive, like, stuff is just going to happen that we're just too, like, young or not thinking about it to, like, anticipate, so I'm sure we're not as ready as we think we are in some ways. But I also think we are really ready in other ways. Yeah. I mean, like, of course I'd like to say 10. Just because, like, from what I've heard, like, I've heard adults tell me, like, like, my therapist and all that stuff. Like, I've heard people tell me that, like, you've got, you both have, like, a good head on your shoulders. Like, you guys are going into this knowing, like, what's going on. Like, you guys understand it. Like, you really get it, you know, without living through it. Which, like makes me think like oh yeah 10 we're ready for this like because we we i think we've covered every single inch of possibilities of like what could go wrong and you know how i'm gonna feel so of course i'd like to say 10 but like honestly i can't because like we're not there yet and i can't say 10 just because like if i go into it thinking it's gonna be super easy that might not be the healthiest thing but i also can't go into it with a negative mindset like you have to kind of go into it with like like, kind of in the middle, like, positive, but not, like, overconfident, because then it can really slip away from you. So I'd probably say, like, a 7 or an 8 around there, just because, like, I feel like we're no, we know what we're doing, but you can't really say that until, like, you are there, and, like, you know. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah. I mean, I think this summer has prepared us a little bit, just because we haven't, because we used to see each other every single day, literally, for school. But this summer, we've had times where we weren't able to be in contact, like, not even, like, texting or calling or anything like that. Like, we weren't even able to have contact. So, I feel like that was a little taste of it, at least, you know? So, yeah. That was a good answer. Thank you. Um, how long is this going to go on? How long is it going to last? Mm-hmm. So right now, we're thinking it's going to have, I mean, like, obviously, anything can happen. But um, let's see, we have my senior year, which is your freshman year in college. And how long are you going to be in college for? Four years. Just, I don't know, maybe more. So, like, four years, and then... I'm planning either to go into the Navy and then college or college then Navy. So that's going to be, well, no, because you're going to move to Utah. Yeah, let's say 
four different years for like me being in college. Right. And if I did any more schooling, I, after that, like I want to move next yeah. to you, whatever you're doing. Yeah. So right now, from what we know right now, four years. Yeah. But why were we saying five years before when I was going to propose? Like that extra um, year because of like oh we are you wanted to finish college no not finish college I wanted to do boot camp and training and get that out of the way okay but that's only if I do navy before college because then that would take about a year to like get everything finalized so four years until you move closer to me so that would be four years of long distance yeah um. And then I'm planning to propose in five years. So, or four years, depending on what happens. And now we've got that on record, so <laughs> better keep your word. I will. Um, so yeah, like four years, five years, something like that. Um, what are some get-togethers that we're planning? So my birthday better be one. Yes, it's going to be one. Christmas, obviously. Christmas, maybe, maybe Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'll we'll try for Thanksgiving. Depending on. I only have a two day break. Two days? I have Thursday and Friday. Oh, maybe not Thanksgiving. So I have a four day weekend. I don't know what I'm doing, so that, yeah, that might not happen. We'll see. Oh, I really wish we could get together on Halloween so we could dress up, but that's like one oh. day. There's no way that's gonna happen. Unless, like, you don't have. What day it. of the week is Halloween? I don't know. We can check that out. You're gonna come to Santa Barbara for Halloween. Well, it's like, yeah, it's Actually, I'll try. they don't really allow visitors. Mm -hmm. Visitors can't come. Then come to Utah. We can, uh, tri we can uh, run around in the cornfield <laughs> that night. Sick. <laughs> Scary. Um, no, yeah, we should do like a, even if we can't get together for Halloween, we should do a couple's costume. Okay. Like, I'm in Utah dressing up as this character, and you're in Santa That's Barbara cute. dressing up as this character. <laughs> but like, we go together, but no one knows yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Someone's like you're just dressed up as peanut butter. <laughs> like you don't get it. She's jelly. She's jelly. She's, it's okay. <laughs> you're just the salt. She's the pepper. It's fine. She's over there. She's the pepper. It's, goes together. You wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So all the holidays and spring break and um, birthdays. Birthdays. Yeah, for sure. Um. Oh. What's the game plan? So, I can try to explain this one. So, what we're planning is, hopefully we don't have our heads too in the clouds, but we're planning every other month for Caitlin to try to make a trip up to Utah. It could literally be a weekend, it could be a break, it could be um, a longer, like, it could be like a long weekend, like if you don't, like a Friday to like a Monday, if, if that works, you know, the whole year has different things going on, so like, every month has something different but uh so every other month we're planning on it so she'll come up with me um in three days august 5th um so she'll spend five days she'll leave on the 10th and then this this will probably be a lo our longest stretch actually because like august and september i won't see you like the rest of august and september mm -hmm. and then october you're coming and then um, December definitely. December, we'll December, and then you have to make another one in January. Yeah. And then February will be the next one, so we could do a mood February to March if you wanted to. But like, either but Valentine's Day. Oh, that's true. So December, January, and February, and she's probably gonna make three trips up there, which we'll have to save for that. But like, and then March will be off, and then April for April, your birthday. You come see me. Oh yeah, I'll come see if you. If you can, if you can't. Please. I'll try to. Yeah. Um. April will be our other one, and then, and then it'll be summer, so then we'll spend the summer together, right? Mm -hmm. So, our game plan is just to do every other month. I do have, uh, school still in June, so I could... Oh. And then you're gonna, you're gonna have to come down for my graduation, hopefully. Your graduation? Uh, I'm graduating in one year. <laughs> I was like, your graduation? That's four years away. I'm stupid. Anyway. I was like, that happened fast. I felt like a senior. Yeah, okay. No, not graduation. You're a freshman again, remember? 
Okay, so, um, no, no graduation, false alarm. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so you have school in June, so I can come down and see you. And then July and August we'll spend together, and then, I don't know what the heck we're doing after that. We haven't, we haven't planned that far. Um, so that's our game plan as of now. Just, and a lot of dates, a lot of, like, FaceTime dates, like, we're gonna go out together and like go eat but like on FaceTime and I know that sounds really weird but like it's gonna work. It's cute okay. It yeah. is. <laughs> um most frustrating thing oh about this whole thing like not just about long distance but like about since I found out that I'm moving to Utah from like last November mm-hmm. like what's been the most frustrating thing? I know. The most frustrating thing has been like people like people telling me like I mean, like, as much as I appreciate it, like, I don't want to say I don't appreciate it, but, like, I don't like when people are like, well, if it doesn't work out, like, it's okay, and I'm like, like, okay, like, yeah, I know, like, I appreciate people telling me that, just because, like, I get it, like, they want to be there, like, if something happens, but, like, I don't know, it's, like, just frustrating, because I'm like, don't tell me that, like, <laughs> be, like, just think positive, because I want it to work out, and, like, I don't know, just, like, we haven't had that much... Like, we've had support, but, like, we haven't yeah. had as much as, like, I'd want us to have in this. Not mm-hmm. just in this, but, like, as a couple. And so, like, I think that's been, like, the most frustrating thing is that, like, sometimes I feel like we're alone. Mm-hmm. And even though I know we're not, like, I know people, you know, I know people, like, love us and are rooting for us and stuff, but sometimes it just feels like we're kind of alone and we don't get, like, what we deserve all the time, which I know that sounds, like, super entitled, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but, like, I think the most frustrating part for me, I don't know why, because we would be doing long distance anyway, but ever since you found out that you're moving, it kind of felt like a ticking clock, you know? Like, um, part of us, I know this was, like, for both of us, like, we want to be enjoying ourselves, but we're also thinking about, like, this yeah. is the last time we're ever gonna have this experience and like yeah. stuff like that and yeah. like whenever something was like um something didn't work out you know it's just like that much more devastating yeah I think yeah if I could change my answer I'd change it to that like because like I think it just it just made everything more dramatic like I know that sounds weird but like it <laughs> did like like everything we did was like it felt like the last time I was gonna see you, and like I wanted, like I think we 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 focused so hard on trying to enjoy our summer that some of it slipped kind of away from us, cause like, you know, we we I I know me especially, like I've had times where like I want to enjoy a time with you, but all I'm thinking about is how this is the last time we're gonna be here together, like this is the last time we're gonna eat here, this is the last time we're gonna go to Disneyland or whatever or not, you know, and so like I think. I think that was hard to enjoy our last times, like, even though we didn't want to focus on the bad things, like, it's hard not to as, as humans, like, that's what we tend to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, that's frustrating. Um, last one. Has the reality hit you yet? I don't think so. No. I think especially with our Utah trip coming up, like, especially with you coming up with me, it's like, yeah. we're not doing long distance, like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, you know? I think that is going to make it easier, like, I'm glad Yeah, totally. we get to do that, but I know that as soon as I, like, get on the plane, yeah. I'm going to be like, shit. Well, I think, I think not even, not only that, I think, I think maybe, because you're leaving on the 10th, I think the 9th. Like the like the night of the ninth. Oh yeah, that'll suck. I think when we're you know saying good night to each other and like we're going to bed that night, I think that's when the emotions will start hitting me. You know, um, like I'm glad that you're doing this. I'm glad that we're spending th- these five days together. Cause like if I if I just had to leave you like here, that'd be really hard. Just because I know I wouldn't get the time I wanted to say goodbye to you. So five days in Utah, or not even five days. A little less than that, but like, just having that time to like, really thoroughly say goodbye to you, mm-hmm. is like really needed. Which I'm glad we're doing that. But like, yeah, the reality has not hit me yet. Like, 
I don't think I'm leaving. I think this is just normal. Like, even though this is the last time we'll be at your house, if you think about it. Last, last well, not last time forever, but like last time for a while. And it's like, yeah, like the reality has not hit me yet. And like, even packing up all my boxes, the reality hasn't hit me. I think it's because I've moved so much this year. <laughs> just seems like another Saturday. <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, I think the reality will hit me. We love each other. We're going to be okay. <laughs> we are going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're just dramatic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get when you put two girls dating each other. 